80 cc's last night, Ugh, all night. But it, and I had to get up early, but it was worth it to watch the King. And I, I put in the headline, which I'll talk about in a second, Hickson and Gordon Ryan. It's not Hickson versus the King Gordon Ryan, the GOAT, the greatest of all time. I'll get into that in a minute. What I want to get into right now is the popularity of our sport and how awesome it is. Okay, I just got back from IBJJF about two weeks ago. And in the four days, there was probably 10,000 people there. I mean, that's probably a low estimate. I just couldn't believe how many people were there. Haven't been in the sport for 15 years, haven't gone to any of these major events. So to see that just made my heart warm because I wanna tell you, and then of course ADCC over the weekend, they panned through the crowds. It looked like a sold out event. Even the weigh-ins look bigger than the UFC. But back to how it makes my heart feel. Have you ever loved something so much that you start talking to people about it and you want to tell them about it like your dog okay like when you guys talk about your dog to somebody at first they may be like hey how's spot and you're like oh man spot let me tell you something about spot spot goes in the kitchen eats his dog food turns around and looks at me and i can tell spot's talking to me I mean, that's our connection, man. Let me tell you more about Spot. By the time you start talking about your connection with Spot, people are looking at you like you're crazy. Well, that's how I am about jujitsu. And that's why I stopped talking about it to people because I sounded crazy. But you know what the past two weeks have told me? I no longer have to talk about jujitsu because everybody knows about it thanks to Joe Rogan, people like him, Jocko, uh, even Mark Zuckerberg, even Tom Hardy. Like, check it out. Everybody knows about it. So now all I got to do is say, when people ask me what you do, I do jiu-jitsu. And everybody knows what jiu-jitsu is. No longer will they look at me and go, man, how hard is it to learn to punch and kick for jiu-jitsu? So I'm back. Let me get back on tangent why I put Hickson and Gordon Ryan and Hickson not versus Gordon Ryan. You can't compare the two, okay? You can't compare Hickson and Gordon Ryan because it's two different time periods. But why I put that in the headline is because what you're watching now with Gordon Ryan, the GOAT, the greatest of all time, the most incredible individual I've ever seen do no gi, he makes his second place guy look like a beginner. And the second place guy, Nicky Rod and Andre Gallo are incredible get grapplers. But he's just so far ahead of everybody that he makes these guys look like beginners. That's what Hickson used to do. And that's why to this day, we're still talking about Hickson. And that's why you young grapplers, when you're my age, you'll still be talking about Gordon. Gordon Ryan did the most amazing thing and everybody wondered if all the hype was real. Well, you got to see it this weekend. King Ryan, he deserves that title, King. And I don't see him getting dethroned for a long, long, long time. But again, that's how we used to feel about Hickson. Let me tell you one little Hickson story because I know you guys are like, man, this guy, is bringing up Hickson during this day and age, it's because you guys forget. You forget where your roots are. Hickson was and still will be the greatest of my time period, okay? Went to a seminar once with him with a 100 people there. He lined them all up, black belts, brown belts, every belt. I was a blue belt at the time. Went through every single person, making them all tap, one after the other, without stopping. Oh yeah, he stopped, maybe for 45 seconds, grabbed a drink of water, went right through them all again. Black belts, making them look like Gordon did. Black belts look like beginners, tapping, minute, minute. I'm talking a hundred people, because uh, I think the limit at the seminar was a hundred, so maybe a hundred and eight. 
because they let a couple more people in. But my point is, witnessing that was like witnessing what Gordon Ryan did. Also, my buddy, who was a world champion, I'm not going to name him, he won the world champions in Brazil, absolute and weight class, came to Maryland, did a seminar, flew out, trained with Hickson privately, came back, Yes, he was telling me how much, oh, my phone's about to fall. He was telling me how much Hickson made him feel like a white belt. And he said he'll never, you know, talk about details, but he said Hickson made him feel like a white belt. His name's Fernando Margarita, by the way. I said I wouldn't say his name, but I'm sure he doesn't mind. But for our time period, that's what we felt like. Hickson and Gordon Ryan. That's what you witnessed. That's how we felt about Hickson, man. He will always be the greatest of our time. And now you guys have the greatest of your time and maybe the greatest of all time. I don't see anybody being as good as this guy in Nogi ever, 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 ever. Make it a great day. I know I went off on a tangent, but I just want you guys to remember your roots, you young grapplers, old grapplers already know our roots, Hickson.